All right, it's Thursday morning ish, 10, no, 11.23. We're arriving at the Portofino Bay. In half a mile arrive at Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel at Universal Orlando. I didn't expect that to see that. It's a rainy day today. We got a little bit of a tropical storm over in the Gulf. Maybe it'll clear some people out this weekend. What do you think? It's a pot. All right, and I think we're going left. Yep. And around. Look how pretty. Got little Vespas. Arrive at Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. At Universal Orlando. Arrived. And we're going to get two bellhop carriers and work out our luggage. Here we are arriving at Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel at Universal Studios. The rain has stopped momentarily, which is nice. We do not have to wear masks inside. The hotel we're gonna go check in wow this is so cool east and west wings oh here we go let's go to the right here mom we're gonna check in yeah oh beautiful nice lobby area okay so we are in the east wing 1377, 1379. We are going to go to the elevator. No, you don't. Yay, freedom. <laughs> okay, going to press the button to go down to the first floor. No, so here's how it works we've got to go down to the first floor go past the Starbucks and then around to the left and then go up to the third floor, 1377 and 79. I have no idea how to get there. We'll find it. But I think you have to go outside to go back inside. Why does Lowe's Resorts always smell the same? Because they pump perfume. No, they don't. They don't. No, they don't. Here, push the red button. I did. Why? I was going to push it. You can't push it. Hey, yeah. Yes, I can. I gave your fidget spinner away to another kid. Hello. Hey. <laughs> East Wing Guest Rooms. Straight ahead. No, I see how this place works. Yeah, we have to go through there. Wow, beautiful. We've been here to be beach, 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 something like that. You're a never mind. <sighs> beach, B I C E. So I think it might have been beach. <laughs> we got a Universal store, which is great. Oh, they've got Halloween Horror Nights stuff. We're not gonna go to Halloween Horror Nights. It's just too hectic. We're gonna take it easy and relax this trip. Now that we're finally at Universal and we don't have to reserve every single part of our day. Yeah, past the Starbucks. So here's a full Starbucks, very big full Starbucks. You can get some breakfast in there, mom. And then we want to go inside East Guest Wing. Da -da. Oh. Okay, and then we're gonna go into the elevator, up to the third floor. This place is huge. Okay. One, three, seven, nine. So we're gonna go this way. And we are Garden View. So the Garden View will be on the left. And then the Bay or Water Views will be on the right. Wow, we're way, 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 way away. There's stairs there, but that's not helpful for a stroller. Seven, 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 nine. Seven, seven, eight. All right. One. 
All right. Hello. Hey, buddy. You gonna stay out here? Okay, so here we are in our room. We got a whole closet. Looks like there's gonna be enough room to store our luggage this time, Let's which is good. Oh, wow. One big bathroom, no separate toilet room. That's really inconvenient for a family when everyone's trying to do their business in different areas. But it's a nice big bathroom at least. Got a big tub. Here's gonna be our joining. Hi! Hi. Hi. <laughs> what is that, James? <laughs> this is a huge room though. I mean, look at these beds, they're massive. <laughs> is that silly or what? Oh my goodness, James is, has never seen an adjoining room in his life. So we've got a fridge, of course, a very tiny fridge. Got a little recycling there. Nice big table to do work on. Okay, oh, hey, there's a balcony. I've never stayed at Universal with a balcony. None of their stuff ever has a balcony. Isn't that crazy? Oh, is it nailed shut or something? Oh man, I don't know. Oh, there's two locks. Okay, two locks. <gasps> it's a balcony. Okay, that's so cool. Never been at Universal with a balcony. I mean, there's no seats out here or anything. It's starting to rain again. All right. So we're on the third floor and there's one more floor above us. I have a feeling that one of these paths is gonna be faster to get to Universal if you need to. These are really pretty drapes. Some nice artwork of the real Portofino Bay chair and an ottoman. Nice big room. So here is our towel situation. Got some uh, cotton swabs, but no Q-tips. Kleenex tissues, which I love to see. And then we've got Julian Oral, Julian Farrell soaps. And body bars and shampoo conditioner. There you have it. Okay, headed back to the lobby. Gonna come over here to the vacation planning center and get our tickets and our annual passes. Beautiful. So pretty. There's a set of stairs to the, the harbor and the shops. There's the front door, check-in, luggage services. Oh my goodness, and there's a whole nother area right here. All right, so we are headed down the steps outside of the vacation planning center. Now, here's something to note. You cannot buy tickets with your annual pass discount from the resort um, ticket planning center. You have to go to the front gate or I guess call their phone number um, for the annual pass discount. We're looking for Sal's Sandwich Shop, which Michael and Aaron decided to go to. There's Mama Della's. Here is Trattoria del Porto. There's Beast Spa P. 
Pizza Central, the Thirsty Fish Pool. Okay, so Sal's. There were no signs for Sal's, but here we are now. They're inside. Apparently, food is taking a while to get. So we got a package with the Wizarding World package. Don't know exactly what it's called, but you get this nice little box with a little booklet with some information about the park and the rides and things like that. And then it came with three Hogwarts Express lanyards. One for each of us and three Globus Mundi luggage tags, which are really cute. The Globus Mundi is a travel agent in the wizarding world and they have one of those stores in Diagon Alley here. So that is what is in your box if you get the wizarding world package here at Universal. It's 748 and they're singing opera from the balcony. Isn't that lovely? So we left our room from that elevator there and our room's probably around that way. It's been about three minutes. We're heading to the ferry. It's 348 now. We'll see how long the ferry takes to get us over to City Walk by the time it gets here. So it's now 3.54, the boat's just arrived. They're going to get the passengers off and then we'll get on and I'll let you know how long it takes us to go to City Walk. Here we go, loading the boat, 3.56. It's a bit of a party boat. We've got to park the stroller up front here and then either sit in the back or sit in the front, depending on if there's some handicapped people here. So we'll sit down to start with and we'll see if it if anyone else shows up. just arrived at City Walk. Michael's still waiting to get the stroller off. He's letting the whole boat off, it would seem. We're gonna go try to get into the park and then have some dinner at Big Fire. Okay, so we're on the hunt for the pool. There's the Thirsty Fish Bar. We really have no idea where this pool is. <laughs> I think someone said it might have been in this direction. There might be multiple pools, but I'm looking for the big one.
going into the gelateria and oh wow candy store apparently oh it smells good in here because it smells like starbucks which is attached yeah lemon and raspberry soup. yeah they have lemon coconut sorbet and raspberry sorbet and you can have it in a little cup medium cup large cup blue banana what is that <laughs> That's funny. Sprinkles, pecans, chocolate chips, M&M's, sprinkles, Reese's. And you can also have a sundae or a smoothie. Turtle sundae, yum. Shall we go rescue my mother? <laughs> Bravo! So we're back home now. It's, uh, it's always nice to be home. Uh, it's a little bit cooler here in Georgia now that we've returned. I wanted to reflect a little bit on our, um, on our stay at Portofino Bay. It was a really nice room. It was a really big room. Um, I wish we'd have had a king size bed, but we ended up having two queen size beds. And, um, since Michael and I are now spoiled with a king size bed, we just decided to sleep separately. I know it's really not romantic, but it was very comfortable. We both slept very well for all three of the nights that we were at Universal. And having the adjoining room for James to sleep in my mom's room was very um, helpful. He loved having the pass through. It was almost like a secret door for him. So that was really good. Um, we didn't have any problems with lightning or storms in the afternoon stopping the boats. That was one thing that I was worried about because it's this really long walk. I think it's probably about a 25 to 30 minute walk to get to one of the parks. Um, luckily, we never had to do that. Uh, we're very lazy people. So, uh, you know, it's it's a bit further out than, than the Hard Rock was. And I'm glad that we never had any problems. The ferry was running every time we wanted to come to and from the hotel. Um, the food options were pretty all right. Sal's was good. It had um, nice hot subs. So uh, I'm a sucker for a hot Italian sub. So you don't really have to do much more than that to please me um, when it comes to a sandwich. And... Um, we ended up eating at Biche, and it was really very tasty as it was the last time. I think we went like two, three years ago, and they had excellent service, really nice. Um, I had a seafood pasta, and I can't remember what Michael had, but we both enjoyed our meal a lot. Um, I think we had mussels as well, which was very good. And um, yeah, overall, a fantastic stay. I would definitely recommend going there. Uh, Royal Pacific is definitely still our kind of favorite, I guess, because of the proximity and the theming and the fact that you get the express passes and um, it definitely it had some renovations uh, about a year and a bit ago. So there's um, there's more food options in the, the lobby for that one. But overall, fantastic stay. Definitely would stay again. And uh, thank you so much for watching.